Hello and welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV video with me, Mioni. This time I want to share with you an old amount and how to get a hold of it easily as of level 70. This is the Gobwalker mount, obtained as a guaranteed drop for Savage Mode of Burden of the Father, also known as A4S. So how hard is this content unsynced with a party? Well, let's find out. There are the occasional group up in Party Finder, so let's make one. In short, some of the easiest content you can go back and do, making this mount farm incredibly easy. Get a full group of 8 people, around 340 average item level, and you can practically skip everything that could be a massive issue ordinarily. You still have the debuff that might mess up your ranged or healers if they get both of them, however if they spread out they mostly should be fine throughout the fight. In regards to the boss itself, you simply need to kill the legs in the following order. The right hind leg needs to be killed first, then do some damage to the exposed manipulator. Then the next leg is the left hind leg, DPS on the center again once this is dead, and then the right foreleg will be your next target. Some way through this leg you're going to have ad spawn. You need to get the little ads low but not kill them and then bring them into the bigger ad. Do not nuke the big ad, the strafe doll, until all of the ads have been consumed by it. That is, again, do not kill the big ad until the little ones are consumed by it. Once this leg dies, the manipulator's body in the center gets exposed again, so do some damage to this, before it reveals the final leg, which is the left foreleg. If at any point a leg emits steam, you need to get someone to interrupt that leg with a stun ability such as low blow. More adds will spawn before this leg dies and you need to do the same as before, get the little adds low, feed them into the big ad, make sure they're all dead nuke this big ad and get back on the boss. After this final leg dies it'll do a small animation and then it's boss time. Now it's just a case of nuking it down hard and ignoring everything. Your healer will likely have to deal with a large amount of AoE healing but nothing too difficult. Once it's dead you are guaranteed one Gobwalker gear which is the actual mount. Repeat eight times until your whole group gets it and then you're done. Very easy. So the mount itself. The Gobwalker is awesome. For those wondering, it does have the theme of the fight as you ride around, which I think a lot of people like to hear on different mounts. The mount text reads as follows, call into battle your Gobwalker, a steam-powered war vehicle designed by the infamous Illuminati. Originally designed to be a less fickle replacement for pack raptors, the Gobwalker was quickly re-outfitted into a tool of war after it took 20 goblins to chase down and topple a walker that had gone out of control and destroyed their entire workshop. The hidden text reads, Ye would have more luck finding, well, a gob machine bang plate on a tree, a quote there of Papana. It's definitely one of the coolest heavens wood mounts you can get for sure, and considering it's a guaranteed drop from every kill of this boss, and how easy gear and level 70 makes this content, it's one that you should definitely consider adding to your collection. Either way, let me know what you think of a Gobwalker, and what you'd love to see next as a raid mount in future content. Thank you kindly for watching this, and I'll see you all next time.